Hey, I'm Steven. And I'm Aubrey, and we're from Husband, Husband and Wife TV. TV. Today we're going to be doing our very first movie review on The Prince of Persia. We just got this in the mail a couple of days ago. We like to collect movies. We're avid movie Avid movie collectors, definitely. So a quick thing about Prince of Persia, just to kind of tell you a little bit what it's about. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal is the main character. His name is Dastan in the movie. He's an orphan um, in Persia. So the king of Persia basically finds him and adopts him as his son along with his two other sons um, just to become a new prince of Persia that... Um, does not want claim to the throne basically because he has a good heart um, so the king's other two sons end up becoming these great war um, heroes and end up taking over this city with the princess this one right there yeah um, so when they invaded the city with the princess um, they found Destan found a special dagger um, and the dagger was actually a, a magical dagger, okay? So the holder of the dagger, if you put your thumb on the pommel, can go back in time. Um, so, but only with he knows, sand. oh yeah, with special sand in the dagger, of course, yes, special sand. Um, and so the only person, you know, who has a dagger knows they went back in time. Um, so especially handy in, you know, arguments between husband and wife, you know, if you have the dagger, you could just go back in time and just fix the whole argument. Um, you know, but any realist, anyways. Um, anyway, he falls in love with the princess, who is the protector of the dagger. They end up getting into lots of trouble with everything, and um, his uncle, the evil guy in the story, um, tries to kill the king and blames it on Dastan. Dastan basically ends up using the dagger and the sand to save his father, save the day, and foil the evil uncle's plan in the end. Yeah. I mean, there was lots, there was lots of good, there's some funny parts, lots of action, um, and you didn't exactly know who really was the bad guy. I mean, you can kind of tell because I mean, he has an evil face. I mean, you know, when you look at a cover, you're like, oh, that's definitely the bad guy. <laughs> um, but uh, originally, uh, in, during most of the entire movie, Dastan thinks it's his brother because his brother gave him the cloak that ended up killing his father. Um, he didn't find out till later in the movie that it was his uncle who gave it to his brother mm -hmm. who gave it to Dastan. So in the end, though, um, it was a really good movie. I mean, I... I wouldn't say it's a great movie. Um, Probably give it a three and a half star rating. Yeah, I think like three and a half stars. Um, you know, it was definitely clean though, clean for kids. I mean, um, there's not any cursing or anything in it. Not too much, um, not too much violence or blood and gore. There's some, but not very much. I mean, mm -hmm. most average TV shows have more than this Absolutely. movie does. Um, so I definitely would recommend it. It's a good one and. Uh, if you guys have any movies that you want to have us review, please let us know in the comments below. Um, we'll definitely get the movie, and we'll review it and post it online for you guys. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. So today, um, we have a taste test. We're doing a candy taste test of a toxic waste candy. Uh, my mother-in-law recently took a trip, and she brought this home with her. And uh, we're going to give it a try.